Yeah, this is Ed is going to tell us about his 76 millimeter Whitworth cannon. Go ahead, Ed. Well, fans, it's good seeing you again. It's been a long time. Your old dad coming back to you. Our latest adventure is this uh, three-inch cannon we've got here. And let me start at the front end. Basically, what we have here is a barrel from a three-inch 50 naval gun. The originally, this barrel was about 12 and a half feet long. When the Navy uh, surplus it, they cut it in half, and I got the front half. The barrel was machined by, that is the work on the barrel, the trunnions, was machined by a friend of mine, uh, Bill Stafford. B Bill Stafford in Bear, Delaware. So what he did was he th actually threaded the barrel and put this trunnion ring on here, threaded on the trunnion ring. And Bill Stafford also made the breech plug, which is right here. And this is a firing device, I'll get to that in a minute. So then we've got the uh, trunnion ring and the trunnions, and I've got them mounted on this uh, frame here. The frame basically is the axle from a Dodge Caravan, the rear axle of a Dodge Caravan. I cut out 19 and a half inches of the center of it, welded it together, had it welded together, and put these uh, trunnion blocks on it, and bolted them all together, designed designed the trail mechanism here and had that done by a local weld shop and then I had everything this and this powder coated not the barrel but the frame and the A-frame but the genius of the whole thing is this elevation device which was done by a friend of mine Carl in Massachusetts basically what we've got here are some parts from an x-ray machine this is the um, the gear that raises up and down the table of an x-ray machine so we've got this elevation device and it works it works beautifully we've complemented that with a red dot scope so it's the gun is the gun is very easy to aim it's easy to aim it's, it's what we say in the game user friendly uh, these are big old pillow blocks industrial strength pillow blocks and uh, we fired it today about 10 times it shoots best with a it shoots best with a charge of about five ounces of cannon grade black powder the projectiles we were using um, are five pounds I can get one a little later and show you um, and we use a powder canister we have the projectile it weighs 5.5 pounds it's soft lead uh, this is the weight in kilos and it's hollow it's got a skirt and so this is the same concept as the mini ball that is as it goes down the barrel the pressure of the expanding gas pushes the skirt against the rifling of the of the barrel and seals it and it, it fires and, and does it does very well the, uh, the Spin, it spins the projectile it spins the projectile because it engages the rifle and we can we have a few sources. anyway it's it's a it's a fun fun toy it's it's uh, you know about as much fun as you can have with your clothes on as my friend used to say uh, and we really like it it's been very popular out here in Ohio today where we are okay very good good seeing you again fans let's keep in close touch and we'll be back with another exciting adventure wave bye to him Ed wave bye 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 <laughs> We got some cars and refrigerators. We got down the range. They already hit the car. I'm going to shoot at the oil tank. Ed's going to shoot at the oil tank. Down there. Oh, the big red oil tank. Okay. Get low.
He's got to depress it a little bit now that he's... Okay, Ed, back off, buddy. Okay, we have a death firing here. Ooh, that recoiled pretty, pretty well that time. A pretty good kick, and I don't know where it hit, because I didn't see it. Ed has hit the oil tank. His uh, sight adjustments and all took effect. And if you look at the upper right hand corner of that, there is in fact a, uh, probably bring it down a, quarter of a hole in it. You'd probably See that? Right there yeah. is a hole. I, I did a, uh, Through the miracle of uh, digital telephoto lenses, there you are. What's the measure? Enough? All right. It's three inches, three inch bore. And there is Ed's 76 millimeter Whitworth ready to destroy yet more. Uh, Capless victims. the firing mechanism after he cleaned it. Look inside the bore of that. Old Navy uh... See that? 